Hello, I recently had the chance to see Jaguar's new all-electric model, the I-Pace, in person. I haven't had a chance to drive one yet, so this was a static model that I happened to see on my travels. Now, the first question that came to my mind, having made a video previously about the Ionics world-class aerodynamics, was why did Jaguar's engineers make the I-Pace's aerodynamics so weird, so strange? So let's talk about that quickly in this video. So I've made two previous videos about the Ionic Electric's uh, excellent aerodynamics, and in my most recent video a few weeks ago I also compared the Ionic Electric's world-class aerodynamics to those of the Tesla Model 3 and the Tesla Model S. So the Ionic Electric has 0.24 drag coefficient, the Tesla Model S also has 0.24, and the Tesla Model 3 has a remarkable 0.23. The I-Pace has a drag coefficient of 0.29, according to the information, the official information on Jaguar's website. Now I can understand the reasoning of wanting the I-Pace to have a kind of family similarity to the F-Pace and uh, Jaguar's other recent models with the kind of very pronounced uh, front grille. But the I-Pace's aerodynamics are really weird. So first of all, there's this kind of through-pass um, bonnet scoop that I've shown in the thumbnail and you can see it here in the video that you can actually, you could reach through the sort of bonnet scoop of the I-Pace from the grill side to the sort of bonnet cover. Uh, the air goes right through there, this kind of little fins that sort of guide the air perhaps. Um, and then of course the I-Pace also has the usual kind of um, aerodynamics we would expect from a modern car, especially an electric car, in that it has a kind of flat bottom um, underside of the car, and it also has a kind of rear spoiler over the rear windscreen where the air flow is kind of directed there to make up for, you know, the kind of um, the truncated rear of it is not a kind of smooth wedge that you'd want for the best aerodynamics, but they kind of get around that a little bit with this kind of rear spoiler part of it. But considering the aerodynamics are important for an electric car to get the most range out of it, and the most performance in many respects, I just don't understand quite why they've made it so strange. I would have imagined that a smoother shape, that kind of wedge, smooth wedge shape like the Ionic seems to be a kind of fairly ideal, and the Tesla Model 3 has followed that as well. Why did they go with this particular shape? Was it just for stylistic reasons? Um, is there something about the bonnet scoop that I'm missing, some other function that it serves that, that I haven't seen in kind of, um, the Jaguar engineers were talking uh, with Robert Llewellyn on um, Fully Charged show and so on about this. Please let me know in the comments, what do you think of this? Do you think the Jaguar I pace is aerodynamics, you know, the kind of style over substance a bit is a good thing? It's an interesting, distinctive looking car. Um, given the other issues that I've heard about on other YouTube videos about the kind of efficiency of the Jaguar I-Pace not being as, as ideal or as, or as good as other cars, perhaps um, pending some software updates and maybe some future updates. What do you think? Does it matter? Um, is it nice for it, the car to have this kind of distinctive look? Or should the aerodynamics trump a lot of the other engineering decisions and should they have gone for a simpler, smoother design? Um, so yeah, as I say, just a quick video this time based on experience of seeing this. I hope to drive an I-Pace at some stage. If anyone has one in the UK that they wouldn't mind me driving, just let me know. And uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos and bye for now.